<laughs> Wait, say that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have that at the end of the year. Like a have a bruise on my face. All the EMTs, and then like at the end of your graduation. <laughs> Remember when I passed? I was like gonna take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Really, she's fine. Um, so we'll do. Lesions, any pain with that? Fantastic. Okay. Um, we already went through names. Do you know where you are? I'm at JCC. JCC. Gateway. JCC. I was going to say JCC. Oh my gosh. I'm at Gateway. Do you know what date it is? September 20th. Do you know who the president is? Donald Trump. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So I. So that's x times 4. Mm -hmm. Yep, because we talked about pain, we talked about your location, your oriented time, place, person, all that jazz. Alright, so I'm going to have you take a look at me. Look at my nose. It's going to be bright light. Okay. Good. Okay. What? Look at my nose. Good. So, Justin, that too, you just did some of these, right? Or no? The neuro or not yet? I just did your perla, so people's are equal around reactive. You accommodate well, so that would be. Yeah, I think that's cranial four, four, yeah, right? Or no? Uh, no, two? that would be <laughs> two. Two optic. Yeah. Yes. Okay. GCS. Fifteen. So do you need to? I was. I was gonna say. Do we need to do GCS for? Oh, we do. We do do GCS. Okay. So yeah, your GCS is fifteen because you're fully aware and conscious and moving and sitting on a bed. Um, so today. <laughs> so facial symmetry is good. I tell you, even um, to do teeth. You're chewing gum, so I'm assuming you can swallow. Um, no bumps, bumps. Your power is good. You told me to tell. Any limited range of motion. So have you noticed any limitations in your range of motion? Okay. So I'm gonna have you touch your shoulders. Bring your hands up. Push your forward. Shoulder your hands apart. Bring your hands together. Squeeze my fingers. Fantastic. Okay. So pulse is pull. Oh, I would have you pull, but I am broken, so we're not gonna pull. Okay. So I just did squeeze, but you would normally pull because you know somebody's recording me over there. Um, when I did your blood pressure, I would have confirmed that your skin was warm, dry, not flush, not sweating, anything like that. Um, cap refill. Less than three seconds bilaterally. Um, your jugular vein is not distended. I would have seen it, um, but that would be up here, and it's like a, it looks super swollen, and b, it's pulsing. It looks really gross. It kind of looks like there's a little beetle in your head if you get a really like distended jugular vein. Um, shortness of breath. So have you been experiencing any shortness of breath disproportionate to your level of activity? Do you notice any shortness of breath when you're laying down? No. Okay. And your chest is normal, you don't have barrel chest or anything like that. Our point is the third. Our point is the third intercostal space. So, left of the sternum. Aortic, pulmonic, herbs, mitral, or tricuspid, herbs, mitral. No. No, 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 no. I fucked that up. Aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, right? That was like yeah. yeah, all pups eat meat. Okay. All pups taste. But it's closer this way, right? Yeah, I think so. It, Towards the sternum? Yes. Okay. It's right here. It's just on the awkward part of sports. Yeah. Aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, uh, herbs, mitral. <laughs> mitral? Huh? Mitral? Mitral. Mitral. My troll's down here. Yeah, I keep going here, and that's not the control. This is my troll. And then we do we need to do aortic like in, on the abdomen for the for this assessment? Don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just in the. I think it's just in the yeah, it is. So for some reason we're just doing herbs, and it doesn't even say to do the apical pulses. So are we not doing apical? I think you just do that during the vitals. Oh. In the beginning. Yeah. Count one yes. minute. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
I will forget that for sure. I definitely need to look that. Yes, no. So you would do herbs. Herbs is listening for murmurs. You use belt side. I'm not going to make you do it. Um, to do any chest pain. So have you experienced any chest pain? We would do your pedal pulses. Right, that's the ones that she wants for this one, right? So yes. w when you're so listening to herbs plant, what are you listening for? Um, it's kind of like a swoosh. So it sounds like you'll hear like a rush, but it's the in the for the valves, it's the it's the blood leaking back from one section to the other. So and after you listen to it, what would you say like during the assessment practicum? If you didn't hear anything or if you heard something, you didn't hear anything. If you don't hear anything, just no more, no more. Okay. Um, absent. Yeah. Okay. Or any kind of murmur. Um, if you did hear something, then you would go to, so depending on what section, if it sounds like it's coming from here, or it sounds like it's coming from down here, then you're going to put your bell over there and see if it's like mitral regurgitation or tricuspid regurgitation, which are the two main candidates for that. And that's why herbs is directly in between the mitral and tricuspid. Okay. Like, I think is they'll just be observing us, so they won't even be able to know what Right. No, yeah. So just say no murmurs. Yeah. Just say okay. And if she actually hears something, tell her after. <laughs> She'll be like, yo, <laughs> get that checked out. <laughs> okay, um, chest pain. So, all right. So, for cough, does she want us to like listen to the like into the lungs and have them cough? I don't know what that means. I don't know. I thought she just wanted us to take deep breaths. I thought she did too. Maybe you could ask, like, have you had any coughing? Well, she, yeah, she put a question mark thing. next to it. So, cough, any wheezing. Oh, okay. So maybe you're listening for, like, wheezing. What's W O B? Oh, um. Uh, breath. No. Something else. I think it's the. I think that's supposed to be for like the use of the accessory muscles for like if you have. Um, so we need to know what SOB and WOB means. Yes, we need to know what WOB means. WOB. <laughs> Because it's like if you're in fluid overload or if you're like really heavy, you'll see them, they'll use their abdominal muscles to breathe. And they'll be like, like okay. and you'll see it. But I can't remember what WOB stands for. Okay, sorry, go ahead. You're good. No, it's shit I know right now. So. Okay, um, so then we're doing, she's having us do four on the front and six on the back, correct? Um, I... But is that for the... Yes, because she wants us to do top, mid, and bottom for the back, yeah. That's what I wasn't sure. For the, I think it's four and six. Four and six for the regular assessment. So if we get respiratory, yeah. we don't have to do it again because we've already done it. Yeah. Right. So then what do we do for respiratory? For respiratory. Pop pain, it's a respiratory expansion. It's work of breathing. So that's when she was saying, like, like, like if they're struggling to, like, get a breath in and out, it's okay. work of breathing. Or Sweet. if they're breathing normally. That was pretty close. <laughs> it wasn't totally off there. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're just doing, like, more in-depth. And then you, I think you also have to do where you grab... Um, I don't, I don't know what vertebrae it is, but right on the back with two hands and make sure it's bilateral when they breathe. Oh, the thoracic expansion? Where you go? Yes. So just right where the lungs are, right? Yeah. Can you take a deep breath in? Yeah, okay. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it in the sides more than you will on the back, but you'll feel it in these oh, we were just saying, we're still on the head to toe, but we were saying what needed to be done for respiratory. Okay, so for respiratory, it'd be one, sorry, I'm going to one, two, three, four, you're right under a boob, and then one, yeah, where okay. is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, is the middle one more closer to the spine, and then the two top and bottoms are closer to the outer? The two tops... This one is the closest to the spine. This one is two fingers out from the spine. This one is so it increasingly goes out. Okay. It tapers out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, just do okay, and then abdominal. So remember, we always inspect the nostril tape before on the abdominal before we palpate. Yeah, because that one's like um, different than the regular head to toe, right? Yes, because if you start poking things, everything's going to sound hyperactive because you just poke Right. Them. So we're doing GI right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it would be... 
Oh, she always starts in the bottom left. Yeah, the, yeah. One, two, three, four. And it like rides the edge of the hip. And you are listening for bow sounds right there, right? You're listening for bow sounds, right? Yes. Okay. It could be up to two minutes, I think they said. So it used to be, I think they said they used, used to be to five. Five minutes, yeah. Because that's what we were taught. Like, if you weren't, if you didn't hear it, you had to listen to that, like, quadrant for five minutes for bowel sounds. Because if you get discharged from surgery and don't have a bowel movement, or if you get out of surgery and you don't have bowel movement, they won't discharge you. So if you don't hear bowel sounds in a quadrant, then they have to figure out why. So it was a five minute window. DiMaggio told us it's two minutes. So I would just say, honestly, if you get a hip, a hip under your rib cage, under your rib cage, hip, and go bowel sounds active in all quadrants, you should be fine. Because if, with me, all mine are always going to be hyperactive because my stomach's always inside. So and do we use the bell or diaphragm on that? We can use the either or. You can use either or. Okay. I use bell. Yeah, because I can I can't hardly because hear. Because it's a lower pitch frequency, and so I hear it okay. with the bell and the diaphragm. But my for my teacher used to use the diaphragm. Okay. Um, have you had any change in urinary frequency, urgency, anything like that? Regular bowel movements. And what's the definition of a regular bowel movement for you? Okay, so once in a twenty-four hour period, that's fine. Because like some people, they'll tell you they have regular bowel movements. So like I did three days ago. <laughs> yeah. That's normal. Um, I'd be so pissed. Um, so then, occlusal all four quadrants. So for the legs, we'll expect lower extremity edema. So one, or nothing. Two, three, four, five, nothing. So what, you're just making sure you. When you press in, you give it about two seconds, and any. So like when you get people that are fluid over, it's the millimeters of depression on top. Of so you would count that as a zero. So that would be okay. just one to four. Yes. I thought it was zero so to four. It goes really easy. Zero. I think so. I think it's okay. zero, one, two, three, four. It says one to four. Okay. I mean, because if you have no edema. I would just say no edema. I'll ask on that later, but yeah. Because none of us are going to have edema. Um, skin appearance is normal. Assess more. So you want, what would you do to assess? So for mobility, I would have you so bring your right leg up and touch your knee in my hand. Well, just like 90 degrees, kind of like, just like bring it up. She's like, right there. Okay. Right there. All right, I'm gonna take your leg. Tell me if this hurts. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any pain with that? Nope. Okay. Push down. Push up. Okay, so I don't know what's that hole. <laughs> Um, so that's what I would do for lower like, extremity mobility. Cool. That's pretty simple. All that, right? She's yeah. got it down. She's gonna ace this. Let's do each one. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch this and I'm gonna go home and practice. Well, oh, that's great. So when we all get screwed up, it's gonna be my fault. <laughs> like Casey did it wrong. Like Casey said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, this location verbalized. So we already did. You know what? I'm gonna mark the one time. Want a pencil? Pen? We had a pen at some point. Oh, I hand you a light. Well, that's what I was going to do. So on the side, I was going to go through and mark which well, ones we cover in the head to toe. Yeah. Yeah. That way I can study. Do, do you guys know if we're allowed to have this paper while with us? Or is it going to be all from memory? It's all from memory. Because from what the fuck? I understand. Are you passing my pencil? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's. So go on and mark that one. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So we did that. In the, so. And then say it. And then That's what I want to write. Yeah. Organizing myself. Yeah. Eyes open, verbal. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay, so we did that one. Eyes open, verbal, which one's one, 15 scale. Are those are the same. Make sure to mention yeah. the 15 scale that is meant to tell you. Yeah. Yes. Just like know the, know the ranges, like if they get points for each thing. Yeah. Just like and we have to acknowledge, like, when we start getting into, say, we pick neuro, and we've already gone through the ones you just marked down, we have to say, previously did it in head to toe, it was 15, or, you know what I mean? We have to do yeah. that, right? Okay. You, you, you do 
like do yeah. Yeah. alert Noreen in times four. I guess it's just to show it. them that like we know that. We did pro. We did do pro. Well, maybe if you say it, I have to tell them, like, oh, okay, I did that. Um, I did, like, um, what was it? Point, like, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. 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 So, once you draw, once you do the head to toe and then you draw whatever you're going to do, whether it's cardio or whatever, or, you know what I mean, neuro or whatever, um, and then say you pick neuro and you're going through those, you can say, oh, we already um, assessed Goscow and it was 15. Next, we already did nerve number whatever, Perla. So. Tone it down, squirrel. I'm so sorry. I think we just have to verbally acknowledge that we did it. We don't have to re redo it. Okay. Okay. So then we would do. So we would do olfactory. Olfactory is the cot or the the alcohol swab. So I take open. Go on. Have you close your eyes? What does it smell like? Copy digital. Be prepared. <laughs> She's like, we need more neuro tests. <laughs> 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 She's like, I'm gonna be like, she said alcohol. No, no, I, I demand a new partner. <laughs> okay, so for three, so we're going to have you raise your eyelids. Down, down, down. Fantastic. Um, and then I'm going to have you walk with the pen. So go. While we're doing that, don't we have to say the cranial nerves that we're doing in each direction? We do. Well, when, what is, what's the girl that was sitting behind us? What's her name? Sits behind us. I keep calling her Alyssa. Anyways. I don't know why I'm texting. Okay. She did it in front of the class. She was like, that's right. She made her. Yeah. She's like, okay. She did it like an extra thing. Okay. Yeah. I will So that tests three, four, and six. Yes. Where's five? Oh. Clench two. Five is the tray in the middle. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I need to mark that somehow. Didn't you say when you do this to go on a star? Yeah. Up, yeah. So you'll go down, down star, side, so side. Yeah. Each time. Yes. Oh, you do a, you do a. A star? She said you like the star David. So like... Oh wait, how do you draw a star? Hold on. Okay. Down here? Nope. Okay. Here? You see how that makes a star? So literally drawing it out, right? Yes. Okay. That's what four, there's four of them. Up, up and down are different. Oh, and then I'm listening. I promise. Sideways is trochanter. Okay. Abducens. That's what I thought. Too. So just like that, Six. right? So I'm not yes. mistaken. Okay. Yes. So you start at the top. You go down to the right, up to the left, over to the right, down to the left, up. Okay. What's up? What's upwards? Three. That's. Ocular, ocular motor. motor. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. You're not looking like directly up ever. No, you just like Side invert base. your gaze. Yeah. 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 I actually don't know those. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't remember those. So, I need to look for the cardinal field. Yeah. I think I might see. I think I might go. Uh, that's down is Down is And then I'll go. Side. Side. Yeah, we do. Because I've been practicing them on here. If you want to skip on to the next one, I'll find it. Okay. You found it? Okay. Alright, so... Abducens is lateral movement, <laughs> trochlear is downward and inward eye movement, and off we
So, so is it an aqua motor, trochlear, abducens, abducens, trochlear, aqua motor. Right? Yeah. Do you see how, like, when you do the star and you have to name it, it's hard because they. For me, like, mentally, if I go up, occupy, down, both children there. And, then and while we're saying that, I do we also sense. have to say cranial nerve one? When, we, when yeah, we're saying that, we do. cranial nerve one, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so then it's. Cranial nerve three, aquamotor. Cranial nerve four, trochlear. Cranial nerve six, abducens. Cranial nerve six, abducens. Cranial nerve four, trochlear. Cranial nerve three, aquamotor. Yeah? So, yeah. That's wrong. So, like, screaming is that for sure. I know. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Because the patient will be like, I don't even know what my cranial nerves are. I, I was going to say, what we can do, too, is if, does everybody have a guinea pig? Like, either a husband or a child or something you can get to sense my dog. for? <laughs> well, we can just go home, like, over the next couple of days and try to get a guinea pig and record it and then send the videos and just pick the best one with a guinea pig and go off that one and just try to run through and whoever gets the best run through, that's the one that we'll practice off of. That way we can see it on different people. Well, because I just know, like, my brain, because I'll overthink it way too much. Because, like, okay, I'm going through it just to see which way her eyes can't go. Like, you know, mm -hmm. the star, make sure that way you hit every point, like you said. Yeah. Eyes are but if I had to go ocular motor and then think ocular motor, and then trochlear, yeah. ocular motor, like, I think I would have to in my head. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're going to, like, laugh here too much as long as you get it. Yeah. As long as you know Just don't do like a circle. Six cardinal fills a gay gaze. It spells oat. Ocleo motor. Abducens. Abducens. It spells oat from top to bottom. There we go. That's the only way I'm going to remember that now. Like O A T. Okay. Okay. Yes, I did. I made you do that when you smiled. Um, I have to. I, this is what I've never done though. The sharp end, like the cotton and the sharp end, I didn't do that one because we didn't have to draw. So, um, Tessa is using a soft and a sharp stimulation using a cotton tip. Um, you don't have to do all of them. Just have to pick one. I thought we had to do all twelve. I mean, yeah, but you already made me do one. All the cranial nerves, but you only had to pick one assessment for each cranial nerve. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. So I can just do the trigeminal clench teeth. Yeah. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can do, isn't one of them, like if you touch something to the cheek, can you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Soft. The soft, sharp. No, not that one. Just like if you take a cotton ball and you just put, oh. brush it and they fill it. It says it is. Okay. Sharp stimulation using cotton tip or cotton to cheeks, forehead or chin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Totally do that. Five and seven, um, she said, were similar. So she said you can combine those two. Yes. The only well, they, she says that because usually if they do that, they smile and then you see the face. Yeah, because we're probably... Are we going to have stuff to test for taste? That's what I wanted to ask her. No, the taste... That's her facial? Yeah, right? Maybe we bring it just... Maybe we bring it the person grimace. Maybe we bring like a service. No, the facial, you just do a smile and, you know, okay. it just shows. I was going to say, because taste is number seven. I'll send you the picture to memorize, to help you uh, remember the cranial nerves. I don't know how to explain it. I showed you the picture. Remember how she drew it on the board? Five Yeah. I printed out a picture. I didn't bring it in here with me. But I'll send it to you. All right, so we'll just do the close eye lens tightly and call it a night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, write that down so I can uh -huh. remember what I'm saying. I'm like saying. blocking it out. Just because otherwise I'll remember all these and then I'll freak out. But I literally think if you just ask them to smile big. Yeah. Like that shows, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they'll clench their jaw when yeah. they smile, and then it'll do the facial stuff. So. 
Okay. And then I'm not doing that tuning fork thing. I don't understand how to do it. Has the one ever worked for that tuning fork thing? No, I would just whisper. Whisper test. Yeah. Or you can make a soft noise like this. So this one, you can tell them to do, can you say ah for me? And then they say ah. Okay, can you swallow? Good. That's 9, 10, and 12. Blocked off. Well, and you did the ah in the head to toe, too. Yes. When you go, look in their mouth, and you go ah. Oh, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd probably that, but... double it, though, just because. When I do it, I normally just do this, say ah, and then touch your tongue to the top of your mouth, side of your cheek, and then big swallow, and that's it. And that's nine, and that's what, which that's ones were that? Nine, ten, nine, ten and twelve. Yeah, because she said you could just do ah and the swallow. And that covers all three of them, so. And then this final accessory would just be the shoulders with resistance. So push up, which is fine. Please balance. So, I don't... I don't like the wrong with the test, but that's what she wants. Did she say we have to do that? Yeah. Do we have to do that? I think so, yeah. And it's 20 seconds, I think. So I just stand with my eyes closed. Stand with your feet and arms at size. And then we time you. You're like, shit, I'm good. Stand with your eyes closed. Be prepared. <laughs> I mean, you can look at your watch and be like, hmm. Okay, 20 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds good. You're such a dangerous. Um, it says coordination. It's for every time you have to come to the first time. These are the one motor, one sensory, one motor, one sensory. Okay. Right here. Let me show you. So it would be like put something in their hands with their eyes closed and then see what it is, like a pen. Oh, or you can like draw something on the pen. Yeah. It'd be these. One motor, one sensory. Because that overlaps with the next block. Which one is which one is that? That is Neuro. assessing coordination. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that you can do whatever you whatever you want to do. Um, and then, so we would do, like, identify something in the hand, and then we could do a sharp doll, and that would cover both for the upper. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What do we do? I need to look at the lowers. I don't know what we did. I have the list right here. These are just all of them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. We did. 